So this is going to be kind of a weird video, uh, but hey, when there's an opportunity, there's an opportunity, right? So I can no longer really afford luxuries such as getting my nails professionally done, which I would do every once in a while. But hey, when you have bills, you got to make a cut everywhere you can. So I did buy this powder dip nail thing for about 20 bucks. Lots of different colors in here. There's 32 different colors, I believe. It did not come with, I think sometimes this color isn't what it actually ends up being. So I did go on Amazon and print out this little color grid. So I wanna go with the reddest color going to a wedding, which is the reason why I wanna get my nails done. Like an apple red, a bright cherry red. So I think, this B03 is going to be the best bet. So, that's this one here. And I usually kind of read over the instructions so I know what I'm doing. So buff and shape the nails. My nails are looking pretty rough. Pretty, pretty rough. Um, it says to buff and shape the nails, push back the cuticle, clean the nail surface. Apply a thin and uniform coat of the base coat to the nail surface, which is this one, base coat number one. Quickly dip into powder at a 45 degree angle and wait five seconds. Use a clean brush to remove excess powder down around the nails, plate and nail surface. Apply a thin and uniform layer of base coat. Repeat that step. Apply activator. Air dry, apply a thin coat at the top. So this is a lot less steps than they do with the nail place. So I do not have high hopes. When you go to the nail place, they have like a clear, like a white, but it kind of, it's like kind of a clear powder they put on first. And then they do like so many, so many dips. So I do not have very high hopes. This is going to be very nice but as long as my nails look good for at least a few days get me through the wedding i'll be happy because regular nail polish chips within like 10 hours so i'm just gonna do a little just a little bit of a buff oh and just so you know I usually unplug my refrigerator because it's older and it's a little loud and people have complained about it. And I just don't feel like doing that because I'm doing my nails. So it's going to kick on at some point and probably be a little loud. So if that's going to bother you, you might as well stop watching. Fair warning. I already cleaned off my nails. I had nail polish on. Ooh. I don't know the meaning of gentle, apparently. Ugh. My nails look so disgusting. So bad. All right, so I had to push back the cuticles. So do that. Push those back. I think I should also get a trimmer, a cuticle trimmer.
a delivery truck just went down the street. You probably heard it. Ooh. Thanks. It's always hard when you're right-handed to do things with your left. I don't know what I'm doing here. I feel like I'm scraping off some of my real nail. What's happening? Do not try this at home. These are probably going to look so horrible when I'm done. <sighs> but hey, nobody's looking at me, right? It'll just bug me. have to go wash my hands afterward after all so please excuse my frumpy sweatpants as I skip skip out for a minute <clears throat> All right, that's better. That's my dog. He's tip tapping around. I got to trim his nails. He just got a bath, so he does not smell very good because he's still wet. And he's uncomfortable. And there's the refrigerator. All right. I think I'm also going to peel back my little springtime Easter tablecloth because that's going to get it away. Alright, so I'm going to need this. Okay. Uniform base coat, quickly dip nail, five seconds. Alright, <clears throat> so base coat. Do the pinky first. Uniform base coat. Dip at 30 or 45 degrees. They always tap it. off. Alright, so what does it say? Apply thin and uniform coat of base to the nail again. Okay, so I guess I gotta do this a couple times. It's a huge spot on my nail. Ugh. Not looking, not off to a good start. It's crazy because when you get your nails done, they go so fast, but they do such a good job. But I guess they do like 
probably seven a day. That is not even. So brush that off. Do that again. I know this is terribly exciting for you to watch. Wow, I do that a lot. More is ending up on the table than my hand and my fingernail. So that's what that looks like. Brush this off. You're supposed to brush the powder off as a brush saver. So when you go and that put the stick on there. And then I think I'm gonna apply Use a thin brush and remove excess powder. Apply things from there. Repeat steps three and four. Alright, so that's enough. And then apply a coat of activator. Do I want to do one more? 
without my knees. This brush is losing hairs, like an insane amount of hairs. Do another one. Do I want to do another coat? Because what they also do is like file like that. Nah. Because nah. I just made this that much harder to get off. So, apply thin mint, apply a coat of activator to the nail surface, air dry for 30 seconds, and repeat. So, activator. That's the second one. And then that has to dry for 30 seconds, and then apply another layer. Alright. I feel like they don't have much stuff in here. Okay. Air dry for 30 seconds. Apply a thin coat of top. Repeat step seven, so do another, another layer. some point they like buff them and make them nice and smooth a thin coat of top. Wait 30 seconds, apply a second. Okay. So then the top layer is going to be the shiny top layer.
My thumbnail is looking very chunky. They don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. So that has to air dry for about 30 seconds. Not too bad. The real test is going to be what they look like after a couple days. Okay, do another layer. This will be the last layer of top coat. Ooh, that is too much. So not too bad, a lot better than, you know, what I was working with before. This is what happens when you do powder dip for, you know, for a while there, I was going consistently for over a year, I guess back before I had tons of house and cat bills that came around, but I would go all the time and it does take a toll on your nails so my actual nails were looking pretty rough and they almost grew out to be better so, see so yeah not too bad um, I'm just not sure how long this takes to dry because it looks like there might be a typo but I will not make this video any longer for you all thank you for sticking around and maybe in another video, I will kind of circle back around and mention how this held up. It looks all right now, but I don't know what it's gonna look like in a couple days. And I don't know how it's going to wear away. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.